good character. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if anyone's like, uh, you know, picked up on that. He's kind of good. Yeah. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Top 15 guaranteed, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the 20. Top 20? Okay. Yeah. All right. This is going to be a very rough matchup, I feel, for Pichu, because everything that Pichu does super well against most of the cast with using his projectile to come on in, Rob has the same mechanic, and also oh Rob God. is very chunky. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like, especially the way that Dill plays Rob, Dill has a very defensive yeah. Rob play style, especially with like having the two platforms that she can set up gyro in front of so she can harass you with lasers. You know, chip damage is a is a very uh, like valid play style against a Pichu. So I you know, cast our man potentially gonna be having a rough time, having a rough time, you know, fumbling around with the gyro and gets back aired for his troubles. But I mean, it could go either way as well. I mean, you know, Rob Big, haha, -ha, funny. But you know, Pichu's Pichu's got the like, Pichu can great combo. combos. Yeah. Casterman was mentioning earlier today that he rarely sees as a lot. Oh, sorry, rarely oh, see. Oh my goodness. No. Uh, goodbye, Pichu. Pichu tiny. Yeah, I was gonna say he rarely sees Pichu mains going for those back air loops, and I'm wondering if he's going to try to utilize this in the matchup. Ooh, all right. Yeah, Dill, Dill uh, nodding her head on that one. Like, all right, all right, you got me on the rolling. Yeah. Dill was like, you ruined my three stock. How dare you? <laughs> Setting up Gyro at ledge. That's a scary situation for Castar Man, but Castar Man able oh. to make it back on stage. Speaking of those back air loops, we almost had one, but very hard to execute, I feel, in this new meta of Smash. This Gyro has been throwing a wrench in a lot yeah. of Castar Man's plans. He's you know really been stubbing his toes on it quite a bit. Isn't it hilarious how Gyro is essentially the same size as Pichu? <laughs> <laughs> Rob has a projectile that is bigger than your character. How does that make you feel? It probably <laughs> still somehow ends up being like larger than Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the snipes? Oh my goodness. Using the Z-drop Gyro to cover so much space and oh Dill has just been covering everywhere that Caster Man wants to be. Laser going at 100%, all right. but all right. Caster, Caster Man is not done yet. Pichu not with Rage? Hello? <laughs> he, he cannot get hit once. Oh, 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 he got hit once. Wait a minute. As as Pichu was in hit stun from getting hit by the gyro, Dill just com moved with Pichu, yeah. and you didn't even see where Pichu <laughs> was going to land, and then just threw out the down smash, and that was curtains. Right Excellent in, job by Dill. Right into Rob's loving arms. <laughs> in the arms uh, of an angel. It was a tech read, too. Yeah, oh, very nicely done. Yeah, that was going to kill no matter where Rob and Pichu were, but very nice game one. Casterman definitely starting to bring things back towards the end of that game, and I feel like this is a super tough matchup for Pichu, um, but let, let's see how game two goes. We are on uh, Cast Our Man's counter pick, which is uh, Smashville, and we okay. did see before Cast Our Man really making use of the uh, you know just center stage, the way yeah. that Cast Our Man likes to play. He likes to just ground himself in that center stage around that central platform. But I mean, Rob is just able to play at such a variety of angles and ranges that you know Dill is. Potentially, you know, gonna be sitting pretty when it comes to finding her way in on this, uh, the the central fortress. But right now, Castar Man definitely looking better than he was yeah. in game one. Now with a small percent lead and has Dill in the corner. Ooh, that was that almost was perfect. Really trying to. Catch Dill slipping, or I think he maybe meant to what move just a carry on the oh. up air and able to convert it. Great stuff from Castar Man. Yeah, Castar Man looking clean this game. Oh, Oops. yeah. Not much you could do there. Yeah, tried to kind of mix things up with the the neutral get up there, but unfortunately Dill ready for it, and now back to even stocks, and Dill is racking up the percent quickly. Very nice grab. Oh, going for the, all of the glory. Chill out with the order arms. That's yeah, all I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Get the oh, drag down. Oh, dodge, Dill. Dill expecting to have to tech. Yeah. 
But, I mean, Dill was in kind of a bad situation there anyway. The gas was, you know, the gas was already starting to run out from the T-Jolt pressure. Yeah. And now Cast Our Man, once again, showing the patience on that very delayed up smash from Dill and just making use of that central, that central stage. Absolutely. And let's see how much more damage Pichu could tack on before they inevitably lose their stock. But, um... <laughs> the gyro... Okay, good back air. Ooh, almost got the grab. Oh, good T jolt. Oh, we're chasing. We're look. We're we're looking Ooh. for Rob. Yeah, and now Cast Our Man playing a little bit uh, more recklessly with the electric moves because I mean, you know, it doesn't matter at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah, as a Pichu player, like after you're at a certain percent, it's like I'm already going to die yeah. to the opponent looking at me. Fine. Right. <laughs> Might so as well just, just throw it out. Oh, the good jab, jab lock. lock. That's dead. With rage? Yeah. Oh, with rage, baby. Casterman sealing game two. My, that was excellent. Like you said, he was just building up that rage. He knew. He knew that he was going to get that knew. forward smash by the legend. <laughs> and Casterman able to take Dill to game three. Definitely, you know, great stuff from Casterman. Seeded 10th uh, this tournament to Dill's seed two. Yeah, Casterman is playing phenomenal this tournament, and every week by week he's just improving more and more. But I'm curious if Dill and Casterman have played in bracket before. I'm sure they have, but I wonder what their set count is. Um, but yeah, this is looking like a really even, even, uh, even momentum right now by both players. I mean, game one was very convincingly in Dill's favor, and. Uh, game two, Dill, unfortunately, a couple unforced errors, that error dodge that led to their death, but this missed tech just, mm -hmm. you can't do that against Pichu. Pichu, against Pichu is angry. That being said, though, we are on uh, Dill's counter pick, which is coming back to Battlefield, where she did win yeah. game one. Smart pick. And, I mean, we've seen Castar Man play so well when the stage pick is in his... It is, is in his hands, and he yeah. gets to play with that central, that central stage. And I want to see, I definitely want to see Castar Man get better at, you know, being comfortable on more stages. Absolutely. Very interesting uh, unforced error by Castar Man, air dodging off stage, but made it back no problem and it's holding advantage. Yeah, no, Castar Man's angles have overall been pretty good to get around a lot of classic Dill. Uh, edge guarding a lot of like the, the yeah. arm rotors, the the down airs. Castor Man's been able to take the outside angle more often than not. But the gyro gonna be the one that, to put the wrench in the plans as always. That time though, that was so good. It was either you get hit by the gyro or throw an up B that wasn't going to be as perfectly maneuvered as they would have wanted, and then got hit by the rotor arms. Very nice. That time there, Castor Man trying to go for the down smash, trying to read Dill's tech that time, expecting her to not miss two techs in a row, but the tech inward will be keeping Dill alive while Castor Man unfortunately has to rack up more percentage on himself in order to get uh, even stocks. This is looking like a like a tough hill to climb, especially when you're down a stock and now you're at you're pretty much at kills percent as Pichu right here, so it's gonna be very difficult to bounce Ooh. back. Oh, that the was spice gyro. Oh, okay, good tech with Dill. Oh, there it is, yeah. Unfortunate. This counter pick showing, you know, that Dill is super aware of her advantages and on, on stages and like which one are her comfort pick and she's just purely dominating right now. Pedal on the gas. Yep, opting to, uh, you know, air stall a little bit more and, you know, just kind of because, I mean, especially if you can frustrate Castar Man into yeah. pressing more buttons, mm -hmm. then by virtue of the very character he's playing, he's just digging his own grave for you. Yep, yep, 100%. Ooh, that down air was super close. Yep, not quite in percentage range for an arm murder just yet. So, Dill resetting things back to neutral, just using that gyro to find your way back into center. I would love to get a stat of how accurate Dill is with landing laser. Because <laughs> I feel like Dill has landed so many lasers in the couple sets that we watched her play. It's definitely up there. All right, throwing out the arm rotor. Oh, almost got the snipe with the gyro, but just barely missing. Ooh. The trailer almost taking it for Dill. What a what spacing that by Castar, man. That was Magna Hands, baby. 
And now Castor Man, this is a Pichu with Rage, which did win game yeah. two, but Castor Man gonna have to find his way in to get those confirms on a less comfortable stage than Smashville. Castor Man not going down without a fight. I mean, both times that Castor Man had to fight on Battlefield brought it back. And, you know, game one, unfortunately, he lost, but oh, oh, there's the an lingering air. hit yeah. of the neutral air. You could definitely see at the end there, Castor Man showing, like, just kind of a little bit afraid of the gyro. Mm, Didn't want yeah. to kind of stumble into it like we saw a lot in game one. And, I mean, that's definitely something you got to learn in the matchup is how to safely pick up and dispose of gyro. Absolutely. Yeah, very nicely done. Oh, that was a checkmate situation that mm. I thought was very beautifully executed by Dill. Throwing out that gyro, and you had the up B the wrong way, and then you got caught by rotor arm, so. Oh, that move is so it's, crazy. That's <laughs> a good move. Oh, well, Dill advances through winners, um, and we have our next winner's quarters match coming up. John Numbers and Gatsby. Oh, that's going to be hype. I love seeing this matchup. Uh, I believe I, I, there was an invitational in New York a, a year ago, maybe a year and a half. Oh, Dill. Dill's like, oh, come on, <laughs> please. But uh, there was an invitational uh, either a year ago or however long where Nick C and John played, right? Mm -hmm. And I bet I bet they've played here at Zeno and other locals as well. But that matchup in particular just seems super fun to to watch as a spectator and. Uh, if you're the Falcon, you don't want to let WeFit set up all their nonsense. Yeah.